So how do you know if your clear coat is still intact or if it's failed? Uh, <clears throat> it's hard to see on this picture, but you could see a lot of what looks like automatic car wash scratches, but really this thing is just really oxidized. And <clears throat> I can just tell by looking at it that the clear coat is not as thick as it used to be, and that's pretty normal. It always starts in the tops first. The roof is even worse. You could just see this <clears throat> kind of heavy fog line, which happens around the edges of windshield. Old buses and old trucks would have this fog line. That's oxidation, um, and you could see it really bad there. This clear coat's still intact. It's obviously almost impossible to polish these areas out, so this would probably have to come off to get to these areas, but for me, this is not a paint correction or compounding or buffing project. This would be a clear coat restoration. So since you can really tell in through here, which is where the clear coat starts to fail first, probably two or three more years of neglect, uh, this is gonna be gone. There's not gonna be anything left. It's getting close here as well. Uh, this is the kind of vehicle I love doing, love restoring. I'd probably put two layers of clear coat, um, roughly 10, 10 or so microns, maybe 15 microns would be the total. Uh, probably in through here, it's probably got 20, maybe less than 20 microns. It's just super thin. It's really hard to tell. If you could see this in person, you'd, you'd really be able to see what I'm talking about. Overall, the oxidation and of course the scratches. I mean, you could compound on this all day, would never get, never, never, never get the results of clear coat restoration, actually adding clear coat. Plus by compounding, we would actually take clear coat off and you'd have to take a lot off, which I do not like to do. You can see this is starting to pit and it's getting thin. Usually they don't put as much clear coat on these. Plus it's plastic fiberglass, so it fails first. You can really see you can really only see the scratches uh, through the lens. You just can't see the, the, the lack of depth in the clear coat. So how do you know if it's failed? Well, I've, all this clear coat's still intact. It's getting pretty close. Needs to be restored. Um, this bumper is a really good, which bumpers always go first. You could see um, clear coat is gone. This is actually the clear coat that has just become brittle. Clear coat is essentially plastic. There's no clear coat whatsoever here. You can see how it's peeling. It's kind of turning white. That, that's really the probably the best indication that the clear coat is white. It actually looks like um, somebody took an eraser and just started erasing it, and it's kind of left the, uh, it's gotten so thin that the clear coat is no longer transparent and now becomes visible. And really this, this doesn't do it justice. There's a little bit left down here, but this bumper needs to be replaced. So if your paint looks like that, it can't be restored, it can't be buffed, it needs to be repainted. Uh, but for me, restoring clear coat before it fails, ceramic coating it is the best. Anyway, I thought this was a cool video because I rarely get an O3 anything in here. And if this was a, if this car was built in 2021 and it was this old, we could go into the future um, and it was 20 years old, it would not look like, I think most likely the roof definitely would look like this and the sides would probably be intact, but right around here, you'd be seeing what we're seeing on the bumper. You'd see like that white haze, and from there up, the clear coat would be gone, just like here. From here up, the clear coat's gone. From here up, from here up, it kind of goes, you know, from the top down. It just looks like, it's almost like you're peeling a sheet back. Uh, it's kind of how that works. Um, but anyway, I just thought this was a cool video just to show how much clear coat they put on these older cars. They do not put this much clear coat on the newer ones. They put a lot less. I would have guessed this thing probably had 100 microns of clear coat, give or take. Um, of course, you'll never get the, the gloss out of this one that you would the newer ones. But because you're putting 100 microns of clear coat or 80 microns as opposed to 50 or 40 from new, really the new cars are just not designed to be buffed any more than just a light polish. They're really not. You got a ton of scratches. Uh, it is what it is. Clear coat restoration is the way to go. And you will produce, I mean, I'm telling you, the car will look like it's been repainted. Uh, clear coat, uh, especially two layers, it's a lot of work. It's, it is kind of like repainting, got a cure, scuff it up again, put it back down, and then you can polish it and then ceramic coat it. It would be a basically a brand new paint job without spending about eight grand, which is what the average car costs to be paid. So anyway, this was a cool video. Thanks for watching. Bye.